video in Lotto X and Weekly Money Multiplier. This video is about uh, scans, setting up scans uh, within Thinkorswim to help you search for setups. Our previous video showed you how to search for setups, what you're looking for, how you grind through charts. Here's a, here's a quick tutorial on how to set up those scans. Uh, so if you go over to the scan tab in uh, Thinkorswim, you can uh, go to the stock hacker tab here, uh, and then you can uh, set up a scan. So, uh, you know, we're going to set up a scan that's all optionable um, names. Uh, I exclude uh, in this one all funds. Sometimes you can exclude um, uh, futures if you wanted to. Uh, and then you can do a search. Basically, uh, you can add, you know, let's get rid of some of these, right? So uh, we're going to set that up. We're going to add a filter. This will be a brand new squeeze, a brand new. Um, here, we're going to go stock. We're going to say we'd like the uh, mark or price. Where's the mark? The mark minimum, let's say 20 bucks. We're going to play something a little, nope, a little smaller to uh, infinity. So we want a stock that's optionable. Uh, we want to exclude funds and uh, anything above $20, okay? Uh, so then we'll add another filter. And obviously, we want to put a study, okay? We want a study. We want the uh, TTM squeeze scan. And in this particular uh, one, we want to look at uh, TTM squeeze on the 15 minute chart. Let's say we're looking for a quick day trade slash overnight swing. Um, so we want to make sure that extended hours is off. TTM squeeze, um, and then we could come over and add another filter if we felt like it. Uh, we could say um, another study that we would need to be, um, let's see, we could do um, volume, we could have unusual volume, uh, let's just use the volume has increased at least 20% from its typical average over the last 50 periods on the daily. Okay, so let's hit that scan. Let's see what comes up. All right, so that's not a lot of names, so this will be perfect. Uh, so let's save this scan as uh, training. We'll call it uh, training. 15 minute squeeze, okay? Uh, and so we can play with this. Now with those, we could, sometimes you have to rescan, we could just write those down and go look at them. Or we can, you will usually save it over here. And this is a live uh, dynamic watch list, okay? So um, this will change each and every day. If this scan is set up and saved right, it'll continue to scan. So if you wanted to name this something else, day trade 15 minute scan or, or quick swing or lotto X, you could name it whatever you wanted. And then when you pull that up and you've got your squeezes on here, you can see all the 15 minutes are covered. Uh, we were gonna look at a 15 minute chart. Um, and then we are going to just kind of grind through these. So here's Dove on a 15 minute chart. It is in a squeeze, but it doesn't really have a setup that we like at the moment. So we jump to the next one. Um, we, let's see, uh, make sure that extended hours is uh, turn off. Good. This uh, FRPT, a really nice 15 minute setup here uh, towards the end of the day, although it kind of started to break down at the close. Uh, but we had our, our trend is up. You can see it on the daily. We have a little trend going up. I actually like the daily quite a bit if this is the all-time high, um, which it's very close to. So anyway, we're not scanning for something on the daily right now, but that could go on a watch list for a potential 
uh, squeeze here. Looks like it's trying to fire long at the moment, maybe hit some resistance. But if you can see here on this 15 minute chart, we have our run up, our pullback, our consolidation near the averages. And then this trade uh, ended up resolving itself, or maybe it didn't resolve itself, but it started to resolve itself to the downside. Maybe there was a stop out here um, below that, uh, that line. So let's look at MODN, uh, not the best setup, uh, nothing really specific. Uh, again, DOV, nothing, um, OFC, HMC, just looking for charts that have a nice setup. Here, there you go. Uh, man has a pretty nice setup. Uh, an interesting spot here above that. NPR, NBR, sorry. Uh, another interesting setup. Looks like it bounced off the lower band there, but we we got that into that into the into the late part of the day. Uh, HPP. There you go. So, if you set up multiple scans. You can see that I've set up, if you look over my watch list here, you can see that I've set up tons of scans. I have an hourly low squeeze for pro, um, the, the daily four hour, the daily and the four hour squeeze combo is one that I absolutely love when I'm looking for a long term, uh, at least a week or more swing trade for weekly money multiplier. Um, because those are the ones that are the most reliable, these daily squeezes. Uh, and I can just go in here. Costco is probably one of the older ones, uh, only ones that's any good. I was looking at them earlier. Uh, there aren't a lot of setups that really, really stick out right now um, because the market has just been so volatile. Uh, but if you set up these scans in here, if you see, we'll go to, uh, let's load the, um, Daily four, daily and four hour scan. This is the daily and four hour scan. I'm gonna run the scan here. But I'm looking for a stock that's uh, above 30 bucks. Uh, it's optional, so that means there are options on it. Um, we're looking for a squeeze on the daily chart. We're also looking for a squeeze on the four hour. So it's only gonna show us stuff that has a squeeze on both the daily and the four hour. Um, that, that just kind of ensures that we're, you know, in a multi dot squeeze potentially and not just a single dot daily squeeze. Um, we we're looking for, uh, within 10% of the 100 period or the 100 day high, uh, on the weekly. So here's where we could make some changes, right? We could go back to the daily. We could say, I'd like to be, um, 5% of the daily let's just go you know year on the on the yearly chart i know that should be 365 but but whatever it kind of gives us that so we can rescan there and we come down with a lot fewer numbers and if we go over to the exclude uh, and we get rid of all futures we're going to get rid of all of these futures here up at the top which would be nice to tighten up this scan a little bit Okay, now we're looking at some names that uh, I know are gonna be pretty good. So let's jump over here, come back over to, ooh, I need to save that first. So we save it. We can save it as something else, but I kinda like the way this scan is, I don't know why I had it on the weekly before, so I'm just save it as the same name. Okay, so that tightens up this list quite a bit. I'll sort that by uh, percent up. I know Vive looks really good, uh, but since it's up 6% today, it's uh, pretty much out of here. You can see it here on the daily. So let's look at this on the daily. Um, yeah, yesterday would have been great if we had uh, taken it off of that uh, lower band and uh, um, 34 EMA touch. Looks like we had earnings today after the close, so that wouldn't have been a good play anyway, but it had a huge run today right, in our daily squeeze with momentum firing long. EA is another name we've been playing uh, quite a bit. As you can see again, yesterday it had a pretty solid pull well outside of the 34 and the Bollinger Band. But if you had caught that low, um, maybe based off of symmetry somewhere, 
Um, that would have been a pretty cool spot to uh, to try and catch catch a big trade. Um, I wonder if we measure there to there to there. Nope, not even close. What about here to there? So there, again, not even close. So you'd have to go further out to find symmetry of that kind of a pullback. Um, but MOH, MOH way up today uh, with a pretty big pullback. I don't like that. Verisign's interesting here on the daily. It's up a little outside of, outside of buy zones. But as we go through, this is how we set up scans. And then we just kind of grind through charts. Uh, if you have any questions on how to set up scans uh, based on criteria that you want to see, uh, we've tried. There is no ATR uh, study function, which is too bad because it would be nice. You, sometimes you pull up these stocks that look great uh, and they have an, <laughs> an ATR in the daily of 0.2. Uh, not, not that this looks great, but that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so it's just not one we're going to trade. So uh, that's how you set up scans and uh, sort through them in this watch list you've created. You can't create multiple versions. I mean, you can create multiple versions versions of the watch list, but if you have too many of them open, uh, it won't render all the squares. So uh, I just like to rotate between them. And when I find something I like, right click it, put it in my uh, master watch list or my or my specific watch list for Lotto X uh, so that I can come back to it when I'm actually looking to make trades. If you have any questions on how to scan uh, or would just like links to some of those uh, scans that are already set up, um, you go ahead and leave some questions down below. Um, but you should be able to, to make your own scans and uh, understand how that works so that you can change them and and put different criteria in there to find what you're looking for. All right, thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.